Hemanya, si. Nasdem singku kaki ni rada si. Icem borak nafas sakin. Constable Zack. Can I ask you something briefly? Hmm. Do you believe I set fire to the castle? Well, Mr. Michaels, you claim to be Samuel Gordon's son, and you were at the scene of the crime with a smoldering torch in your hand. I had that to defend myself with. Against the mysterious secret order that nobody knows about and nobody's seen? It's mentioned in the Gordon Chronicles. Hmm, 500 years ago. Forget it. And then there was the thing with poor Miss Valley, right? Found your tracks at the scene of the crime. I told you, forget it. Spooner, your inspector, is he always so nice? I don't know. He was in the homicide department in London until half a year ago. Then he got redeployed here as a punishment. That explains a lot. Since then, he's tried everything to get back out of here. He locks people up for the smallest of misdemeanors. Good for the statistics, you see. And you can't do anything about it. What does a bear do about the winter? He rolls himself up and sleeps until the spring comes. Can you make a copy of my file and send it to my lawyer? Hmm. Didn't he get one ages ago? He uh, wants to have the current version for the embassy. Not possible. Hmm. Something wrong? I'd forgotten. The copier gave up the ghost a few weeks back, but there's a new one on order. Are you being serious? It's not so bad. I have so little to do here, I could type up most of the documents. I understand. So, would you be so kind as to type my file? Hmm? No. And what if I fix that thing? All right, then. You go and see what you can do with it. How long are you going to look for Angelina? She'll be deemed missing until we find her. Even if she's long since dead? We haven't found a body yet, Mr. Michaels. How involved were you in the investigation of my case? I searched the sewer system and the bunker. And you didn't find any clues? No. That just can't be true. It's bloody dark down there, Mr. Michaels, and full of rats. Not for the faint. Is there anything new on the kidnapping? According to the statement, Tom was at Alton Tower. And you don't find it a little bit strange that those two went to... The only strange thing was that Bobby was in hospital for two days afterwards with concussion. And what if Tom was lying? We can't prove it. He had two tickets from the theme park and the paperwork from the hospital. Damn. And the boy? There's no one called Ben. Goodbye, Constable. Hmm. It can't be that difficult to fix a copier. I studied it once. Well, kind of. What have we got here? The fuse has blown. A switch to turn it on. And you press the green button to copy. If I twist and connect the wires that work, it should be able to copy again.
wires that aren't cooked have to be hooked up to the power switch somehow. I'll just leave him in peace for now. Can I ask you something briefly? Hmm? <coughs> the copier is working again. Hmm? Now can you copy my file? Sure. Then I'll send the copy to your lawyer. Uh hmm? The copy of your file? Uh well, um then I can send it myself. The inspector insists that no files can leave the building without authorization. I see. Hmm. Damn. Constable? Mm-hmm? When does the mail go? Uh, my, my lawyer needs the file as soon as possible. I'll post it later on. It ought to be collected this afternoon. Thanks. Goodbye, Constable. Hmm. Shit, Dad. You're coming. You're coming. The board is just the right size. It'll go straight on top of the mail bag so that when the constable posts the letter, I can easily pull it out again. in here. Hmm. Friday afternoon, 12.30. They must have discovered the body then. The time of death from this valley was the previous evening, Thursday, between 10 and midnight. Cause of death, burned alive after a blow. Witness interviews. Let's see. Um, not it continues. Friday, 18.37. Emergency services called out. At that time, I was in the rooms of the old academy with Angelina, Lewis, and then Saturday, 12.06 a.m., fire under control. At that time, I was running from the ruins in the direction of the castle. Three bodies were retrieved. Lady Eleanor Gordon, also on Saturday morning, 12.12 a.m. Darren Michaels arrested. Francis Hmm. Witness interviews on the subject unproductive and Lady Victoria Gordon could not as yet be questioned. Hey, it says here that Murray can't remember having seen me in the hotel on Thursday evening. Oh, that can't be right. It was exactly when he threw me out of the hotel. Evidence still insufficient to charge, but strongly this current state of the investigation. Darren Michael's conduct, as well as his contradictory testimony, is currently being... Here's a note to Constable Zack. If he's diagnosed as nuts, will possible murder weapon, a torch, still smoldering, which was in Darren Michael's possession when after deportation to USA, not possible. Release of the suspect on bail on direction of the court. Dr. Winterbottom authorized... Good, and I've got two new goals already. Visit Victoria and see how she's doing, and let Murray know what I think. I'll write in the file so I don't forget. I can stash the room. Stash him to hotel, to hotel, we can keep him.
doctor. What's troubling you, Adrian? Do you believe me? Darren, uh, Adrian, we've gone through this so many times before. Of course I believe you. Then why am I still on the hit list? I'm a doctor, not a judge. <laughs> By the way, they rejected the assessment rejected. of your... But what about the awful nightmares? That kind of reaction is only normal, Adrian. If somebody suddenly... Re How come you went then? I came here to... Is it true that Spooner was sent here as a punishment? Yes, I've heard that too. Well, what did he do then? As far as I know, he overstepped his authority back in London. And that led to some guilt. However, I'm not exactly right in the picture with all this. Oh, great. A bad-natured investigator who can't tell the difference between guilty and innocent. Get this. I've been released on bail. Well, that's a good reason to celebrate. I'm not quite so sure. The Anonymously? Bail... No. Who'd do something like that? No idea. To be honest, I'd hoped you were behind it. You like living yes. in the and every <laughs> Yes. Do you see me as being an arsonist? Judging by your nightmares, you do at least seem to have a violence-orientated imagination. Yeah, but Stephen King has that too. As far as I'm aware, he has never been under suspicion of an arson attack resulting in three dead. Whose side are you actually on? On your side, Adrian. Good. I swear to you that I've only ever told you the truth. There are as many truths as there are people, Adrian. And we still have to find yours. I had a strange experience earlier. It was just like one of my nightmares, but this time I was awake. I was in the police station, just as I was wanting to pick up my stuff. I suddenly found I had awesome strength. I uh, dragged the guy to me through the bars and, and ran my pencil into his eye. Wham! Then it was all over. It was just so real. Scary. You didn't say. Huh, great. So I'm cursed and possessed. I was talking to a colleague about you the other day. She's a... how shall I put it? She understands alternative therapies. What's that all about then? Drugs? Electric shock? Hypnosis. You're not serious. It would at least be a possible way of finding out more. Well, <laughs> for my part, as long as you don't saw open the top of my skull. <clears throat> These sessions... How long are they supposed to continue for? What do you mean? Well, I've been coming here every day for the past three weeks. I'm still having nightmares every night. And the assessment says I'm 100% fit. We ought to try hypnosis. And what's that supposed to do? You want to join in on my nightmares? Let's just try it tomorrow. If we can get to your roots, then perhaps we'll understand what your dreams are trying to tell us. Boo. <gasps> That's what they want to tell us. The dreams, I mean. Well, okay then, Doc. If you think that this might... Catch you later. Take care. Then let's see what Murray... How's that? The last time we saw each other was Thursday, three weeks ago, when you threw me out of the hotel. Thrown out of the hotel? How did that happen then? The thing with the sewers, the secret entrance in Angelina's room. Did that ring any bells? Really? Oh yes, there, there was something. Ah oh, well, please excuse me, I did overreact. I hope you're not going to bear a grudge, though, Mr. Michaels. I'm very happy to make things up with you. You'll also understand that I couldn't hold your reservation for such a long period. Unfortunately, your room is occupied at the moment. But you can have another, a bigger, nicer one, for a small price, really. For such a room, a ridiculously tiny price. So you've remembered, then? 
very good, then please go right back to the police and tell them that you know exactly where I was on the evening that Miss Valley was murdered. Was that the same day? Are you sure? Now, it, it may well have been. I don't pay much attention to that kind of thing. Two-Faced Snake! I insist you march down to the inspector and tell him you want to change your statement. Mr. Michaels, you're free. I don't understand your problem. I'm only out on bail. Oh, you can't be serious. Mr. Michaels, I really am extremely sorry, but my own credibility would be on the line if I... Unless what? Come on, spit it out and quit playing around, you pathetic little blackmailer. Otherwise, I promise you that the murder series will continue. Here and now. <laughs> no, no! Admittedly, I'd be the last one who's standing in your way. All the same, I would like a photo of you. Nothing sensational. Maybe somewhere in the woods with a, a knife in your hand? So they can send me straight to the madhouse. No way. Okay. Think about it. A watertight alibi for a tiny little amusing photo. It's not a bad exchange. You are one nasty dirtbag, Murray. You know that? I'll even give you a camera to take it with. My best one. Yeah. Does it still work using a lever? It's a collector's piece. One of the first instant film cameras on the Europe. Fifteen years ago, a very well-groomed gentleman handed it over to me as a deposit in my pawn shop. He never picked it up again. So, you can say that I obtained it quite legitimately. That's okay. I'll work it out. If I choose to use it. But that's not all. I've got another present for you. Here, a brand new rucksack. And free food and lodgings for as long as you wish, Mr. Michaels. Accept it as a peace offering and reparations for the trouble with the statements. You really are a few cards short of a full deck. M Mr. Michaels, wait! <sighs> what do you want now? Forget the woods. In front of the castle would definitely have much more impact. The photo, I mean. And people think I'm crazy. The room looks... I bet Murray got... There's only atmospheric noise. You probably have to pay extra to get TV channels. A rucksack with a contorted image of my father. Whatever. I'll sue him for that later. First of all, let's... <laughs> Plastic soul key, check. Batteries, none. Murray, tight ass, check. Huh. A big... I can't be bothered with that now. I'm gonna go and see Lady Victoria first. What? Oh. Who's there? My name's Dar uh, Adrian Gordon. I'd like to see Lady Victoria, please. Hello?
Come in, Mr. Hunter. Lady Victoria has just been Ah, uh, yes, of course. Please excuse the chaos. The builders are working on the renovations. You're looking after Lady Victoria? Yes. I'm a trained nurse of your... Uh, great-grandmother. I take care of all of your great-grandmother's needs. Thank you, Miss... Anthony. Sister Anthony. Thank you, Sister Anthony. Can I just ask you something? 